In this video, we learned how to use StatCrunch to perform an analysis of variance. Recall that the independent sample t-test is useful for comparing two means. If you want to compare three or more means, then use an analysis of variance. In our first example, we perform an analysis of variance to compare the mileage of mid-sized cars, sport utility vehicles, and pickup trucks. To do this, go to Stat, ANOVA, one way. Since the data is stored in separate columns, we use the first option for selected columns. To select more than one column, hold down the control button on your keyboard, then click on midsize, SUV, and pickup, and then press compute. In this example, we obtain a test statistic of 31.6 and a p-value that is less than 0 0.0001. This indicates that the difference in the mileage of mid-size cars, SUVs, and pickups is statistically significant. In our second example, we also perform an analysis of variance to compare the city mileage of different types of cars. But this time our data is stored in a data frame. The city mileage of all the cars is stored in a single column and the types of cars are stored in a different column. To perform the analysis of variance, go to STAT, ANOVA, one way. Since the city mileage of all the cars is stored in a single column, we use the second option for values in a single column. And then we select the column for the responses, which is the city mileage, and the factors, which is the types of cars, and then press compute. In this example, the test statistic is 28.13 and the p-value is less than 0 .0001. This means that the differences in the city mileage of the different types of cars is statistically significant.